first you have to invest in the capability. Uh, you need to uh, really organize, structure, model your data so that you, it's easily accessible to the university and is well understood. Um, the next step is to organize for performance management. Um, you'll see a trend now where you have universities creating a office of analytics or they're combining their IR and business intelligence team into this um, independent actor uh, that is the data czar or you know, uh, one source of truth for the university. Um, the next step is to empower leaders to uh, use that data and, and help them understand that all the major decisions made at the university require supporting data uh, or else uh, they won't be approved. Um, and then you have to uh, focus on transparency. Uh, a lot of universities I think are transitioning from where the data is locked down and only a handful of people have access to it to where it's becoming more uh, accessible to the university community. And I think that's very important. Uh, it's really hard to change the culture to rely on data if it's not accessible. And, and so really that transparency is very key. And I'd say the final step is highlighting success. So the universities that we're working with are seeing significant gains in their enrollment management and student success metrics. And that's really what changes the culture when people see the impact of leveraging the data to have a conversation and, and make decisions and take action on it. And that's really, uh, I think, what will uh, turn, help universities turn the corner to uh, developing this culture of data-driven decision-making. Data governance is incredibly important um, because data governance and data integrity <clears throat> are the milestones of a good analytics program. Uh, without it, without trust in the data and a process of which metrics are defined and approved, uh, it's very hard to get traction at the university. Um, however, our perspective is to have a, a lighter weight, more agile data governance structure where the functional experts are responsible for the metrics definition and data validation. And it's really a, a, a fluid and agile process versus a um, university-wide data governance committee that has to bless everything. You know, we really try to focus on um, uh, really smaller teams that are focused on their functional area and approving uh, managing data governance in, in that fashion.